Uh, hi again, this is David. We're moving right along. And as I said this time, we're going to be looking at uh, four betting and calling a shove. Okay, and we're going to try to apply this in real world situations. Now, I'm going to be looking mostly at the hands that we might make a mistake with. Calling a shove is really difficult for only two particular hands, and that is pocket queens and ace-king against most opponents. The reason for that is pocket aces and pocket kings are practically never folding for all practical purposes. And pocket jacks and pocket tens, ace-queen suited, those hands, there may be a select few opponents that you'll feel comfortable getting it all win with, against with those hands, but for the most part, when faced with a shove, unless you're talking about really small stacks, uh, pocket jacks and pocket tens and ace queen suited are going to be hitting the muck. But the hand that really is difficult with the two hands are, are pocket queens and ace king. And you can't really give one answer as to what's the best thing to do when you're faced with a shove and you're holding pocket queens or ace king because the answer depends both on stack sizes and on villain types. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at ace-queen only. If we have time, we'll get to ace-king, but that will probably be in the next video. And what we're going to do is we're going to define various villain types, and we're going to run simulations and see how pocket queens stack up. Now, again, we've opened for 20, with the range we see here, 12%, we've been placed, faced with the 3-bet, and we have now 4-bet to $150 with this range, our value range, pocket queens are better or ace king. After doing this, the villain has shoved all in on us, and we have to decide whether we're going to call with pocket queens. Let's look at our first villain type. This is going to be our first villain type. When faced with the 4-bet, this villain will shove with any pocket pair, pocket 9s or greater. He'll shove with ace-king, suited or unsuited, and he'll also uh, shove with ace-queen, suited. Now, he will not only shove with all these hands, he'll shove with all of them with 100% frequency. What we're going to do right now is run a simulation and see how pocket queens does against this villain and how much of a shove he can call. I'll put this on pause while I set it up. Okay, I'm going to let you watch me set up the first sim so you'll know how it works. In subsequent sims, I'm just going to show you the end result. But what this program allows us to do is set a variable and then make a chart and it shows us how our EV changes as that variable changes. Now, we're going to measure the EV of calling a shove with pocket queens. And this is calling a shove where we have $350 left in our stack and we've already committed $150. And it's going to be against the villain type we described here. Now the variable is going to be the stack size. This program allows for a list of variables and we have stack size as variable number seven. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a chart with one variable, and we're going to vary not variable number seven. And we're going to vary it from, we'll start with our $500, 100 big blinds, and we're going to go all the way up to $2,500. And we're going to do this in steps of $100. and we're gonna give the output in EV. And what this will show is our EV for calling this shove with pocket queens based on our stack sizes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now against this particular opponent, we start with $500 here. 
The stacks are getting bigger and bigger. And it's still profitable for us to call. So we have to do another ch chart and go with bigger stack sizes and see what happens. Here we're going to set up the chart again. This time we're going to go from $3,000 to $5,000 to and we're going to do steps of 200 at a time. Okay. Now you see against this particular opponent, he shoves with such a wide range that our pocket queens, after we've put just $150 in, can profitably call him all the way up to about a $4,600 stack. It does not become negative EV until stack sizes reach 4,800. Okay, so this is a very, very, very aggressive opponent. Uh, he raises with a very wide range. Pocket nines are better. Uh, ace queen suited. Against this opponent, in all practical terms, you are never folding pocket queens. Okay, let's move on to the next opponent. Okay, so now we've defined our second villain type. Again, our first villain type shoves nines are better, ace-king and ace-queen suited 100%, and we can pretty much always call up to 960 blinds. Our second villain type is a little bit tighter. He shoves with all the same hands, but weighted differently. He'll shove pocket queens are better and ace-king 100% any times he gets them. But if he has pocket jacks, he's only going to shove those about half the time. If he has pocket tens or ace-queen suited, he shoves with those only about 25% of the time, and he shoves pocket nines only 10% of the time. Let's see how we do against this villain with our pocket queens. For this villain, we're going to simulate stack sizes from 500 up to about 1,500. And we're going to look at those in increments of $50 and see how we do. Okay, here we go. Uh, against this villain type, we we'll can profitably call at 500 all the way down to up to about $1,300. Right around $1,300 was still profitable. 1250 to 1300 becomes marginal. At $1,350 right here, we see it crosses the negative EV threshold. So we're going to put as our answer $1,300 were profitable up until that point. So here we now have it recorded. We see for our second villain type, and you can put this on pause to read it, we can profitably call a shove up to about $1,300 or about 260 big blinds. Okay, if you're playing online games, 100 blind standard, even 200 blind standard, against the, a type of villain that is described by what you see here, again, you're pretty much always going to be calling a shove with pocket quotes. Let's move on to the next villain. Okay, we now have our next villain type. Uh, we see the previous one could call up to 260 blinds. And by the way, I'm not going to do a separate video for ace-king and ace-king suited. What I'm going to do is off-camera I'm going to do the simulations and simply add them graphics like this and you can just pause the video and look at it. If I have time I'll do it on this very same video because you already see the way the process works. But the third villain type, when he shoves, he's never going to have pocket tens, pocket nines, or ace queen. He'll shove with pocket aces and kings 100%. He'll generally but not always shove with pocket queens and ace king suited. We'll say that he shoves with these about 75%. And with ace king offsuit, he shoves only about a third of the time. And he'll shove with pocket jacks only about 10% of the time. Let's see how queens stack up against him. Okay, against this villain, I started with $400 stacks to work up because when we get to the 100 blind range, pocket queens is already showing negative EV. Okay, uh, here we can profitably call a shove up to about $475. 
and it becomes negative EV right about the uh, 100 big blind threshold. Okay, and this type of this is not a super super tight opponent. Uh, you will see plenty of these in plenty of games. Uh, when they shove, they are never going to have pocket tens, pocket nines, or ace queen, and they will very rarely have pocket jacks, and they don't even feel comfortable about shoving with ace king offsuit. Okay, against these players, pocket queens are a four bet bluff. That means that you're going to be four betting to 150 or 30% uh, effective stacks. Not anything over that. You don't want to commit yourself, and you will be folding to a shove. Next villain. Okay, I now have five different villain types here. You'll have to put the video on pause to read them. In the column to the right, I show the maximum stack size that can be called against each one of these villains with pocket queens. The next two graphics put up, I will show just briefly. You'll have to put it on pause, but it'll be the same villain types when we're calling with ace-king offsuit and then with ace-king suited. Okay, now I've finished the simulations using the same villain types for both ace-king and ace-king suited. Again, this is for calling shoves after you've been faced with a 3-bet, you have 4-bet to 2.5 times, and then you're faced with a shove. All of these hands, ace-king, ace-king suited, and pocket queens, they'd not be calling raises, flat calling out of position. They should be 4-betting. But whether that's a 4-bet bluff that's going to fold to a shove, or a 4-bet uh, bet value bet that's going to call a shove, will depend both on stack sizes and villain types. So just look over these charts, put the video on pause, and when you're faced with an opponent, see which type he most closely resembles, and that'll give you a good idea of what you should do. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, we'll pick up, uh, I'm not sure what the next topic will be, but that finishes this one. Uh, that's all for now. Bye.